In this tutorial, we will dive into how to create a speed ramps in DaVinci Resolve. Speed ramps are great for adding energy or emphasis to your footage. While they can be done in camera, they are mostly often added during editing. When slowing footage, it's crucial to be careful. If you are aiming for slow motion speed ramp, it's better to shoot in slow motion and then speed it up in real time rather than attempting to create slow motion in post. Let's apply a speed ramp to this shot. The camera movement looks good, but the pouring of the liquid is a little bit slow. I want the first portion of our video to be fast and then to slow down a little bit. To start, right click on the clip and bring it up to Retime Control. You can also press Command R on Mac or Control R on Windows. The drop down menu below lets you adjust the speed of the entire clip. For this, I only want to speed up the first part. To do this, create a speed point where you want the speed ramp to start. Now move the playhead where you want the speed ramp to occur. So let's say over here. Now when I reopen the speed menu to over here to add a speed point option and this right now it's available. You can control the speed of the either side of the point. You can add a multiple speed points but in this case I will use just one. I will adjust the first portion to 800% of speed. Oh no, this left a big gap. This happened because I have the selection tool mode enabled. This one over here. I will undo this and I will switch to trim edge mode tool. This one over here. Now when I change the, sp the speed it will automatically fill the gaps without leaving any space. So let's try it. There we go. To set the custom speed not listed in the menu over here, drag the speed point left or right. Be sure to drag the upper portion of the speed point for this, not this one down below. Making the selection shorter will speed up, while making it longer it will slow it down. Since I use the trim edit mode tool, the timeline ripples without creating any gaps or overwriting videos. Remember, it's very important to drag from the upper side of the speed point. Dragging it from the lower point, however, keeps your chosen speed, but shift the speed point. This is useful for fine tuning where the speed ramps begin. This look good, but we still need to create a true speed ramp. Right now it's just a sudden speed change. A speed ramp should be gradual, not sharp. Open the retime curve from the right click menu. And let's expand so you will see it nicely. The keyframe shows where the speed changes and the red line represents the speed over time. Right now the change is too sharp. Select the keyframe and convert it to an easy keyframe with this one. Now we have a slight curve. Use the Bezier handles like here. To adjust how smooth the transition will be. I want to still be fairly quick but more gradient like this. Now this is a proper speed ramp. Let's check the final result. Speed ramps are widely used in action sequences, commercial ads, shorts like this one. 
Just remember, don't go overboard with this one. Use it a little bit, only subtle. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to help me reach more viewers. See you in the next one.